welcome to another part of Jack Lost Frontier. This time, we're going to be doing a cutscene because we finally going to meet Kira in this area she's in and uh, see what the fuck's going on around here. Looks like you already found the goodies. I think this is the main control room. And these diagrams. If I can get this pub working again, we'll be in business. Hurry up, will ya? This place gives me the creeps. Hey, Dax, don't touch anything. I didn't do it. I'll keep him back, Kira. You get this thing working fast. Well, of course it couldn't be that simple, now could it? So, now we gotta fight a whole bunch of spiders, and... It's not the monkey men are around here as well. They're gonna be around just being a bunch of assholes, too. At least he'll be able to farm up some... Pretty decent amount of Doc Eco. And uh yeah, that's that's really it. It's just like a big old fight here. Nothing else to really talk about. No ammo around here though, that's the biggest problem. Like all you can get is from the places where they sort of like rise up. Where there's ammo and also the boxes there, I'm wrong. Anyway, uh what do we name this? For these monkeys, because these guys, these gorillas, gonna be a pain in the ass otherwise. Because remember, the other gun in this game isn't very good. Only the blue gun is doing us any kind of favors now. The other gun's kind of the worst gun in the game so far. It's kind of sad compared to how we used to play these games, huh? And, uh, yeah, just keep fighting them until eventually they're all defeated, and that's it. Fairly simple fight, and uh, yeah, nothing much else to say about it. Just, you know, don't fuck up, don't die, you'll be good to go. You'll have another cutscene to watch right now. I think I've got it! Now all it needs is a little juice. I've seen panels like this before. Bingo! You did it! No. We did it. Let's get the eco out of here. Oh yeah! A candy machine! Come on, give it up! Give me some grub! Hey! Wait up! What the- Hey! Don't mess with the fur! <laughs> What's that? You want to just play more of Jack and not go back to that Dark Daxter crap? <laughs> well, I'm afraid we'll do another Dark Daxter stage. And also, I did record this beforehand, but then the recording decided to fuck up. And, uh, yeah, I had to redo all of this shit. And because of the emulator stuff, unfortunately, I had to go and have my order save disabled. Then we'll all save and fix it up later. But right now, we gotta fight a whole bunch of enemies. There are robots which will shoot up these enemies, and just these lizard guys who will also shoot electricity at me. Just take them all down, eventually this will happen. And it will hurt you, by the way, it will just bump you around. It'll, it's just a bit of annoyance, really. See? Yep. However, that laser is going to be important for us, mainly for the puzzle solving we ought to do, because there is a bunch of shit around here that will bend the laser about. And all we have to do is just flip the batteries and they just switch the polarity up so that they can get away from us and also be able to destroy walls and shit, which we need to do. So yeah, that's sort of how this is going to work out. You just go around, stop on the shit, and switch the lasers up so you can Make sure you don't get stuck, but also take care of any unneeded walls and such that might get in your way. And, uh, yeah, that's about the gist of this one. And just switch that laser up too. And there you go. By doing that, I have now freed up these two precursor orbs. 
And also I destroyed a wall which lets me continue on with the rest of this area. I have to turn that off though because otherwise I might screw myself. I tried speeding through, but unfortunately the game's gonna do that to you. Cause Dexter isn't exactly very fast in this like form. He's kinda it's not really fun. Also, you might notice there is some webbing here that we can't break. But there's also a wall here that we can. And uh yeah, now we're on fire. And with this fire in our tornado form, we can, you know, burn off the fucking spider web. Allowing us to get these free precursor orbs, and anything else that might get in our way. However, you need to be careful because you might run out of Dark Eco, but don't worry, we've got these crystals around here which will give you some more Dark Eco, so we'll be fine. So there you go. And now I get to kill a whole bunch of spiders. And with that out of the way, and also me just you know, picking this guy up and throw him into a fucking laser stuff. And now I'm just going to throw him with some fucking holes to get rid of the holes so we can move on forward. Because, yes, we're going that way. However, we're not yet going that way directly. Because there is something else we should do before we actually go on this path. But before I do that, let's take care of all these enemies around here so they're out of the way. Because they will get in our freaking way. Especially the robots. The robots can actually shield each other, which is annoying. And they start spouting out fire at you. It ain't fun. But get rid of them. And once they're all gone out of the way, then we can move on dealing with some lasers. Okay, so with some more dark eco. And oh wait... Gotta destroy that too, which brings out these guys. They're dead now. There we go, they took a while. Just with these both, so that they are hooked correctly, and then... Over here, there's another battery, and also some webbing. Activate that, flip that, and destroy that wall. There you go. Flip it around, and then use that fire to get rid of the webbing. On the bottom and on the right. Because we have the spider and gets you the precursor orb. Now, why in the name of fuck would I want to free that spider? I don't know, but you can do that. And besides, they'll get killed anyway by the laser once you go over here. But, yeah, that gets rid of the wall, which means we can now move on from here. But now I have to take that off so that we can actually go in the area so that we can go ahead and, you know, deal with some more lasers and deal with some more webs. You know, and then I have to fucking uh, aim this at this wall here to get rid of it so that we can actually get more precursor orbs. Now, eventually I did get confused on if I missed any precursor orbs. I didn't. So, um, yeah, I kind of made that mistake and unfortunately I got myself screwed over a little bit. And also I just waited a little bit to just make sure that the wall is destroyed, which it should have been now. Also, I get stuck around there because controlling this move is actually a pain in the ass. But yeah, I get rid of all this fucking web. Just burn it all down. It's all obnoxious. But yeah, the wall I got rid of is the one to the actual exit of this area. We're not going there just yet until I've taken care of all this crap. So let me go ahead and destroy this. Oh, there we go. And gets rid of these guys and just kill them. There we go. Switch it around. Don't switch that one around. Uh, one of these you shouldn't switch around, which I did. I did both of them. By doing this, what it does is that it brings the laser to aim at just something completely unrelated. Like, it does nothing to your favor. You want to keep one of those switched to the way they are. And I believe the one I keep switched the way it is, is the one on the very right. The one I just switched the first time. Because that will just, like, get in the way and give you nothing. Whereas, if you use the other thing, uh, that will go directly to that wall, which will destroy the wall, which will allow you to get inside and get the last precursor orbs you need to get before you get to the elevator, which will you'll then destroy in order to get yourself one more precursor or before the end of the elevator ride to the cutscene that is obviously going to be at the end. And yeah, like, 
after a bit of time and getting rid of this guy too. There you go, walls destroyed. I can now get three precursor orbs. 185, that is correct. I thought it was incorrect. I thought it was 186. It's not. So, I'll jump cut right about here because I thought I got confused and I thought I missed anything. I didn't. So, now I'm going to go ahead and destroy all these guys because two robots, some more of these obnoxious fucking, you know, laser bug things. Get rid of all the shields too. And, uh, yeah, one more laser correction challenge, one more puzzle, before we are able to get to the exit. This is so we can destroy the door that has kept us from going to the elevator. So switch that to go over to here, and then just switch that one, and switch that one back, and you're done. That will destroy the wall. You can see how slow the movement is, too. That's why I kept waiting around. And with that, we can now leave into the elevator, destroy the walls like I am right now to get myself a cursor orb, and then we can go ahead and watch a cutscene. So, what's gonna happen next? Okay, orange, yes. Soft, well-conditioned fur, check. Body odor, no worse than usual. Small, cute, cuddly face. Ah, oh, I'm back. I'm me again. Thank the precursors. Or curse them. Their stupid stuff keeps doing this to me. Daxter, you okay, buddy? Glad you asked. This whole being tall, dark, and gruesome is a lot harder than I thought. Look at my claws. I need a manicure. And the hangnails, not to mention the headache. I think I went through the wall noggin first. Hey, are you listening to me? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah sure, sure, Dax. Uh, it was something about the, the nails in your eggnog. Now that's a sweet ride. And our ticket out of here. That baby looks fast standing still. Come on, Dax. Climb aboard and put your tray tables in the upchuck position. At least you didn't say the exits through the rear. <laughs> the night is still young. And yep, we are now free with the bullshit, and she also got a new gun mod. Yep, gives us one- our final weapon actually is over there. Before we go ahead and see that, let's put the precursor statue to deal with seven more Dark Eco Crystals. Which at this point, they're gonna give us very small amounts now, and they're all gonna be very close together. So, this is honestly the easiest one out of all of them. You get 30 seconds to deal with all of these, and it does not require me to go back and forth much to get them. So, yeah, I get them all done pretty quickly, which is why there's no jump coming for this one. It will be for the next and final one, I believe, but yeah, otherwise, no. Also, that Pirate Radio Tower has a neat little challenge that is a little bit difficult to actually pull off because it requires you to destroy a certain amount of enemies. And these ships have quite a bit of health, so... It's not exactly the most fun, but it is challenging. And I will be happy about having a challenge, at least. Yeah, just keep moving around, keep swerving around and look for any of these crystals to destroy them and be able to get my reward out of it. Should be one around this wall, actually. Let's see. No? Nope, I'm wrong. Okay. Well, I know where they all are anyway. So, with three left, the rest are around, like, the outskirts of this middle area. So, there should be one to my left here. Uh. Yeah, there it is. And turn around. There should be one. Yeah, there's one there. And there should be one around the right side as well. I'm going to get rid of this one. Yeah, there's the other one. You might have noticed time I just kind of glitched out a little bit. Like a last second thing. You might have noticed that. Good for you if you didn't. I did not know when I was recording this. It was weird. And with that, we now have one more left. You only get two rewards out of this one. 
it's not a very rewarding dark eco hunt. That's fine, because this is the easy one. I wouldn't expect them to, like, give me a lot out of this. But at least it's easy. It's short. I can get this done real quickly in, like, a few minutes, and we can move on from there. Moving on to a bunch of fucking plane destruction. And we got the flat cannon for that. So, let's go over to this pirate radio tower and start destroying some motherfuckers, which all have the same target score. It's just they're all timed, and they all have different things like avoiding fire, which, you know, it's not a don't get hit thing, so it doesn't really, you know, make sense. And then there's like a fleeing one, uh, which, again, doesn't change anything. All it changes is that it gives you attack ships, which don't get in your way much. So this should be easy, right? Except it's not. Because these guys, for one thing, our rockets don't go and damage them that much. And for another thing, the aiming is kind of awkward, but the lock-on's kind of weird. And also, they have a lot of health. They take a lot of damage. So, unfortunately, this takes a while, and I do not get the gold in any of these three on my first go. It doesn't mean all I got was bronze, though. I avoided getting bronze. I did get silver in all three of these on my first go. I did have to choose a different ship, though, because one is a bit more about being fast, not being speedy. You know, being able to get to these ships as quickly as possible and taking them down, like, fast as. Which... It's not as easy as you'd think it'd be. <laughs> it's not that easy. The thing is, though, they all go at the same count. 14 for bronze, 18 for silver, and 22 for gold. They never change this count for, like, any of the free challenges. And yeah, even though I killed a 21, I ran out of time just the moment I killed the fuckers, so I only got 20. So the best I can really get is, like, 20 to 21 with this ship. Uh, but I did change to my other ship that we've been using in... Actually, this is the new ship, isn't it? Yeah, this is actually a new ship. We're not using our regular ships. Apparently, we're just using, like... We're hijacking one of their planes in this abandoned area. This is a new ship, and all it has is machine guns and rockets. It doesn't even have our slow missiles, which... By the way, we don't really need them in this, but that's just shitty. And there's not many rockets in this one either. And we kind of just spent a lot of them too. Now there's also these machine guns. And you can destroy them, because they do get in your way, but that's a waste of time. And also, the fucking game loves to lock onto them too. So unfortunately, that gets in the way of your missiles. Which does slow you down. This is the biggest problem with this challenge. That your missiles are not going to be very reliant with this challenge. And you're going to end up kind of fucking yourself. Which I did for all of these when it came to me trying to get gold instead of the silver. Because I could not get the gold here of the ship. Don't worry. I will jump cut to me getting gold in all of these. You have to watch me go and get the gold in all of them, one by one. I will get straight to the point of the gold. You already see me trying. You already get the gist of this shit. And, uh, yeah. I do get my silver. But unfortunately, I could not get much else. So, yeah. With that, we only have one left. And I'm going to go ahead and do that right now because I could wait until I have a better ship, but we're going to do the Vanquish one, which is just, you know, destroy them once and for all. It's just, kill them. Now they're giving me the flying kind of enemy, which, if you destroy them, doesn't count to your kills, even though you're killing them. You can only really kill the repair ships. So, yeah, that's, that's about the gist of this whole fucking thing. And... It's not great. It's kind of boring. 
you'd, you'd expect this to be kind of fun to go around destroy all these ships and gain a big amount of kills. Uh, it's kind of frustrating actually, and it's not very fun or enjoyable because they don't fight back. They don't really fight back at all, and even when there are enemies that do fight back, they're not a problem. They they don't even hit you that hard, and they're kind of bad at their aim. So, uh, yeah. Just, just kind of meh. Just kind of a very meh challenge that isn't very enjoyable or well made. It's just kind of there and exists. And it has its moments, but, uh, it's not good. It's not good moments. And with that, I did indeed get a silver. And that gives me some scrap and orbs. So, I am now going to go ahead and switch away from this plane, which I'm honestly not going to use for the rest of the game. I don't like the ship much, which you will find out soon. Uh, and also doesn't have any of our damage mods and such, which is why I was taking so fucking long to kill them. But yeah, you can also see I have barely any ammo left, so that's fun. But yeah, let's just go ahead, get some ammo back, and uh, also, essentially, just, you know, go to the shop, buy any parts that we need, and then get into our good ship, and essentially wreck some fucking asses with that challenge shit there, with the tower. So we got a lock-on missile and a chain lightning gun. I'm gonna buy them both, and here's the thing. Customize the plane, it should be around here. Let's see. Inceptor, that's the name of it. We can only have two mods. There's a lot of fucking machine gun. Uh, quite frankly, it's not very good. And compared to what we already have, it's also not very fast or even that much damaging. Uh, and with its lack of mods, it makes it quite weak. So, yeah. Not a great ship to use. Not a whole lot to really be happy about of the Inceptor. Also, I am now upgrading. I have now upgraded, I believe, the damage bonus to its highest, which is what you should do. But here's the thing. Do not do what I end up doing, which is wasting all of your fucking scrap on upgrading. Don't do that. Also, Swine Missile, we're going for it right now. I did notice that, and I did want that. Oh yeah, and there's this one which is just a stomping thing. It's kind of awkward and slow, and eventually you might end up just like, you know, spinning your stick anyway, so... You fuck it up though, you end up slipping, and then you end up kind of falling. Uh, which is shitty. And, yeah, it's just us doing this and getting another weapon out of this, so that's an eight. But the main thing here is me going through and actually completing the free challenges that I've got silver only on. So let's go ahead, jump cut, and show me getting the golden nose challenges. Starting with the first one. Which as you can see I got a silver, I'm back on the silver spot, but as you can see I got a lot more time. And with that I am now just going forward and taking care of this shit as best as I can. Actually, I think I'm using the regular ship, but now I have the mods on. I have the damage mod, which is killing them a lot faster than beforehand. And now I got the 22. I guess we scrapped for that one. The next one, however, we do get something else out of this one than just scrap, which is nice. But yeah, I do just barely make the limit here. And I got a blaster reflex reflexor beam. And lastly this one, which actually gives us a mod, which is a unique mod. It's actually a mod that you can only get from this challenge. So, what exactly is this unique mod that we have gotten? Well, it's going to be one very, very important for when you're doing a New Game Plus mode, which is the Jack Moore Scrap mod. What it does is that when you have this mod, you will gain a shit ton more scrap if you do the Daxter jacking. So 
So instead of like the 500 we've been getting, we could end up getting a thousand. We can end up getting uh, 3,000 even. We can end up getting a shit ton of fucking like scrap out of this. And we can use that to essentially grind our scrap and be able to buy everything and upgrade everything and all that crap. So it becomes a very invaluable mod to have for if you want to like grind scrap. Uh, but, you know, you shouldn't really need to on your first playthrough unless you do what I do here, which, you know, is a bad move. I should have just left it all alone here. I didn't. And because I didn't, unfortunately, I got fucked. And, uh, yeah, you don't want to get fucked in this one because these challenges, they don't give you the scrap forever. You don't get that scrap that easily. So once you have that scrap, you really want to make the best use of it. And unfortunately, I did not. Even though I now have a very powerful machine gun and some good rockets, uh, it doesn't help me that much in the long run. And I have just basically screwed myself over. I also have the ground attack because that's the one that really matters. However, there's one thing, which is that Kira is holding back on us because she does have one more weapon, our final weapon of the game. And that weapon is a unique weapon. It's one that we have not even seen before until this game. Ladies and gentlemen, the lobber. It is basically a grenade launcher. You shoot the grenade, it lobs around like it does an arch movement, and if you get direct hit, it explodes on impact. If you don't, it rolls around the floor a little bit and then explodes from there on out. So, yeah. It's basically just a grenade launcher. And it's more useful than the fucking Peacemaker. Like, in the fucking second Jack game, Jack 2. But... Jack free? Eh, not so much. I feel like this one is just kind of in the middle. However, it's not a really shitty weapon. It does have its uses. Uh, but it is limited ammo and all that, so it's not like the greatest thing ever. Also, it's now time. One more cutscene, our final cutscene of this part. Let's go ahead and watch it. You did it! You are first mate material, my dear. Now what? It's pointing to an area near Fardrop. And another target the other way? The Seeker is missing three parts. Perhaps it's trying to repair itself. Yeah, and Kanga rabbits are gonna fly out of my fuzzy butt. The thing is broken! No, I think it's pointing to its missing pieces. Which direction do we go first? Let's head to the point near Fardrop. Prepare the- the other direction? Are you questioning my authority? No, I'm questioning your judgment. The second location is closer. I will defer to Kira. Whatever your heart desires, my sweet. Jack, what do you want to do? And now we have options. We now can go to any of these two areas. We can go to the older open barracks, or we can go back to Far Drop. We're not going back to Far Drop. At least not next part. Because right now, next time, on Jack and Daxa Lost Frontier, we're doing cleanup duty. We're gonna go ahead and get some precursor orbs, because we got some new abilities and shit. And we're gonna go to the old barracks, and we're gonna see what we can do there. So, thanks for watching. I'm going to save to save up the older saves that can work again. And I will see you all next time for cleanup and for the older European barracks. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you then.